Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial video and for this tutorial I will be showing you how to make the horizontal twitch shake so let's get started so as you can see I've already twixtured and uh, transitioned my my clips so here's a play so yeah uh, it looks bland, it looks stinky there's nothing to it so first of all you gotta add an adjustment layer by doing so just press ctrl alt y to pull it up and then just put this on top of your clip and then just cut this ctrl shift d and then after you've done that go to effects and presets and type in twitch so twitch and then just apply the preset so after that you can follow my settings so for amount like the base value i put this at like 30 and then for the speed i vary between like it depends on the clip but like i usually just put like between um 20 to 40. so for this edit since this it's like a just a chill edit i'll just make it like not as fast so i'll just put like 25 and then go to enable enable slide uh go to operation control or operator control sorry and then just set the slide spread to zero and so that th this basically makes it so that it's, it only spreads in one direction which is up and down so if you have this value like high it'll just shake like everywhere i don't know how, I, don't, I don't really know like how to explain it but yeah you, you get what i mean so after that you can close this and keyframe the amount press u on your keyboard so it shows up the current keyframe and then just go at the end of your clip you can just press o on your keyboard yeah it'll just move your cursor at the, uh, at the end and then just set this amount to one so the reason why you put this amount at the end uh you put the value to one is because um up until the end from the start until the end it will just continually continuously shake so if you put this at zero it will just eventually just stop moving and we don't want that so put this to one and after that highlight both of your keyframes press f9 to easy ease and then go to your graph and make this graph a very sharp graph like so all right so this is what you will get so as you can see it looks it looks all right but you can make it better if you just uh, mess around with the key uh, keyframe placements so what i usually do is i hold uh i highlight both of these keyframes press alt and then just move the first keyframe a bit backwards the only reason why you do that is because if you saw earlier um if you put the first keyframe at the start of your uh, adjustment layer uh, you can see the shake it starts off with a really hard shake and you don't want that so all you do is just put the first keyframe a bit backwards so just like so so as you can see it looks cleaner so yeah and then if you still aren't like satisfied with your result you can always just um mess around with the first uh with the value of the amount and the speed so i th i think i'll change this to like 30 and let me put this back here yeah it looks a bit better than before actually no that's a bit too much i'll put this back to 25 never mind all right so after you finish with the first clip just press on the layer and Control d to duplicate and then just put this above your your second clip or what uh or whatever and then just hold all the reason why you hold all is because you can move this without bothering the the graph inside this if that makes sense but um yeah so if you're like extra lazy and you don't want to do like any of this i've made a preset for you guys um there should be a download link in the description so all you do is just like make an adjustment layer and just go animation apply preset and just type in the the preset that I, that you downloaded and then you can just mess around with the keyframe placements and then boom that's it this is for those who are lazy i know you're out there but uh yeah just duplicate this um put this on your other clip and that's pretty much it basically so yeah um that's pretty much it you can also like you can always mess around with the values to like fit your 
your um your, your satisfaction or whatnot so after that you can add post effects like cc's blurs flickers or whatnot so i've already done it here it looks like this and i've like tweaked the um or mess around with the um switch settings so yeah that's pretty much it uh let me know what other tutorials you guys want me to do just comment down below and if you have any problems just join my discord link is in the description and just tag me and just ask please don't be afraid to dm me as well as long as you're actually asking me a proper question and be sure to follow my instagram link is in the description that's also where i post my edits but uh yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video have a great day slash night peace